Ooh, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this style of Arabic Middle Eastern house structure style. Uh, it could be used in any case scenario. But anyway, in this case it's a house and I'm going to be building something completely different, a completely different uh, shape of building, but I will be building in the same style as this. Now this was a lot of fun to build and it was a lot of, it was very interesting to come up with the style, especially adding the brick and the uh, little bit of extra sort of sandstone at the bottom, uh, really sort of, you know, sets this uh, style apart, uh, I think. Uh, you guys can tell me what you think, but um, anyway, some people have been asking me to come up with different styles and to uh, show them and to get some more... Uh, you know more stuff out there besides the typical medieval style so anyway let's go ahead and get started um, this is the base that we have that we're gonna be using and uh, looking forward to seeing what we come up with but anyway let's go ahead and get started all right so guys here I am and let's go ahead and get started on this so my idea is that the structure will be back here and this will be sort of like a little stable area for the horses or whatever um, this all out here will just be a wall and all this will be just an enclosed in courtyard of sorts So we can just figure out little things to put in the courtyard maybe plants maybe a tree or two and uh, Could look pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on um, You know well for I me mean, if you look at it, it's all three spaces, so it's pretty simple um, There's really no particular way to do this. Um, I'm just doing this the way that you know comes to mind while I'm uh, You know, it's easiest just to do it all three spaces. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So let's do this all the way along. Let's just go ahead and connect all of these. So it's uh, one, two, three, spaces of three all the way around um, as we get to there. And then this will be a space of three going in, another space of three. Now you guys can do this any way you want. There is no particular way. Uh, when you're building an Arabic house, it's basically a lot of um, modular sections in a way uh, going all the way around uh, basically this is just a tutorial on the style not the particular structure um, as that that's what I want to do I want to show you the style and uh, not you know you know not make it seem like you know it's just the structure is what's important it's the style um, so anyway, that is that. So this is going to be the actual house. So we can just go ahead and knock all this out. And um, this is where the foundation's going to be. So let's go ahead and put all those around. And uh, let's decide on where the door is going to go. I think the door would go great right there. In fact, I think we can make it too wide, except we don't want it to be matching up with over there. So let's put it right here instead. Uh, and then that'll work out. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and maybe let's have it so that they, you, you step up into the uh, structure instead of like stepping straight in. Because if you step straight in, then you have a chance of the water getting in and it's causing some kind of problems here and there. So let's just go ahead and make this just like so. Whoops, there we go. And then we'll do this. And then there we go, that's our front door into our house. Um, let's go ahead and just build this all the way up all the way around and then we'll fill the whole inside of this and so I'm gonna go ahead and build up all this and build up the walls a little bit uh, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it so I'll be right back Alrighty, so that's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward of what we're doing here. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and keep it how it's uh, one up here. Uh, the reason being is it would make for a good little bit of elevation change. And uh, I think we can all agree with that. So let's just go ahead and do this along, just like this. And then you have this little space right here where you can make some steps. And then so we can definitely do something within here. And then we'll do something of the same value in there. So let's just go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Build the sandstone across. And I keep putting the wrong sandstone there. So let's just take that out of the inventory. So there we go. So there we go. We got a little bit of uh, elevation change. And it definitely would work out like that. Um, and then I'm pretty sure... Okay, I did make a little like cross support thing. So what we can do here is go ahead and do the same kind of thing. 
where we have a little crossover of sorts thingamajigger like this. And then uh, maybe go ahead and put a half slab on top to represent that it sort of turns like that. And then we can go ahead and do this all the way across, but let's make sure that we have it the correct spacing. There we go. Very good. And we'll do the same thing there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So boom, boom, oops, all the way across. There we go. Now for this here, um, I, I would assume that this side would need a pretty good support. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that because um, you know this, this side would be a lot of pressure pushing down going that way. So having a too thick wall there would definitely help out in keeping this thing um, supported. So let's just go ahead and do this as well. Um, just to make sure that it stays supported and doesn't fall over. So there we go. That is the front entrance into our little um, manor house in a way. Uh, but basically this is, you know, just you can pretend just a bunch of these types of houses all in the same area. And then this would be a city, uh, city environment. So let's go ahead and keep building up and then uh, we'll get started on the next... All right, so now we're going to sort of decide on floor plan and get that all figured out. So what I want to do is this is obviously going to come up one here. So we're going to do fill R and then say we're just going to use 13, 13, 1 and 20 just to fill that all up. So now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and build a wall across like that. And then we're going to go ahead and dig through that just like so. And this is all going to come up. Now, the way I'm going to do floors for this, uh, I'm going to time lapse it once I get show you guys what I figured out what I'm going to do. Um, but it's going to come up one like this here. And then we're going to go ahead and fill this in with the uh, sandstone metadata. That's what this is, is a sandstone metadata just like that. And it goes across. And, um, but yeah, this is go these are what the floor materials are going to be. Uh, it's basically that thick stuff um, but yeah, it is a sandstone metadata. So all you gotta do is just switch to the sandstone. So then you go four up here, one, two, three, and four, uh, actually five, I'm sorry. It goes five up. And then up here, this is where this next story is going to be. Um, and this is going to be sort of like a lower story area. So all this is going to be filled in as well. And then for this whole back section, this whole large section back here, it's gonna come all the way up and it's gonna come two up here, okay, three. And then it's gonna come across like this, all right? So that way it has a little bit of height variation and then maybe we can have some sort of like, um, like greenery up on the top portion. So we'll have to figure that out as the time progresses. But, um, and then this here, this is all going to be roofed in like this. So it's all going to be the flat, typical desert roof here. And um, that is obviously over the, the stables. And so that is how that is going to look uh, eventually. And so we're gonna go ahead and do this all the way around. We'll do this over here as well. And then voila. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse as I go ahead and build up the walls and everything and get everything prepared. And um, we should be good for our next. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to our next section. The floors are done. So, but now what I want to do is sort of add in a sort of a front porch kind of thing. Um, like not really something super extravagant or anything, but just something to sort of show that there is a front porch on this thing. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, and it's going to be spaced in twos. And then this is all going to be this type of material like this. And so now we got to figure out a way 
to make it look like it's well supported. And it's gonna be like this all the way along, except for here, obviously. On the sides, it's gonna be like this. Um, uh, we'll see why in the future as we move along. But I just thought that this would be a cool addition, sort of like a little patio area and also an area that we can sort of put that red and white uh, tent thing over it to add more of that detail. So let's go ahead and put some stairs underneath to make that uh, much more supported. Actually, I think I'm gonna make it another thick here. And then I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm gonna do this for all of it. Uh, so if I can only get the right material, then it would actually work out. But no, it must have caused problems. But there we go. It's gonna go all the way across like so. Same thing there and there. And then underneath all this is going to be stairs, just like this. Um, can't forget about this spot. And can't forget about this spot. And then it's gonna be upside down stairs, just like this. Whoops. And then this is going to move over one because this would need a pretty strong support right there to hold up all that weight. So there we go, just like that. And then we need to have another there. But yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Um, it's just a, it's just something to hold everything up. Just, you know, you do the cross sections as needed. And we're gonna do one here as well. And we'll do this, and that, and then one more. Pretty sure that's it. But anyway, as you can see, that is what it's going to look like in a way um, as you push it forward and you get it done. But um, yes, that is what it's gonna look like. So now this is all the courtyard out here. This is all going to be sort of like this, um, you know, undercroft portion. And then this is all going to be sort of a patio up here. And I guess we can just go ahead and move that out and do that. So perfect. Perfecto. And we'll do that as well. All right. So now along the sides, as you can see over here, it's sort of like fortifications in a way. It's kind of like a castle kind of thing. But it's pretty simple. It's not, you know, too difficult. But on top of each of these, you go ahead and place a half slab, just like so. And then you put an upside down stair on uh, all these sections inside uh, in between these blocks. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, time lapse this as I go around, but it's pretty simple. Just find all the places where you can place stuff like that. Um, and then obviously like something like this would be uh, two spaces. So like this would be like that all the way around. So I'll be right back guys. All right, so what I've decided now to do is add in these little additions on the sides, just to sort of add in some more depth and uh, detail to the sides. Um, adding in little modules like this definitely gives you more detail possibilities as there's a lot more you can do um, as far as size, com size proportions are concerned. Now these little sections are probably just going to be little roofed in bits, like they're not gonna be like the flat topped um, with the sand. So pops, possibly they're just going to be made out of um, half the jungle roofs. But I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. Um, I might go ahead and actually bring this up a little bit. Bring this up to this um, story up here. Or not. I actually have a better plan for this. This can actually be down here. And this is where the other layer is, right there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and bring it down to there. And so this can actually be, um, we can have a stair up to this, and then this can be where people can get up sort of like the back way. Um, I like to always have back ways up into my houses, and so that's going to do, that's what this purpose is going to be for this thing. So there we go. Um, we'll put a two there, and then we'll go ahead and do this. One, two, three, 
and then for the middle we'll do two inside stairs like that and then we'll do that and then that works out pretty well and uh, as we continue to add depth then it'll uh, work out so now what we're going to do is add in little bits like this all the way around um, on any, any bits except for the outer wall portion we don't need to worry about that but it's just for the outer um, the main bits of the house all the way around uh, this is what's sort of like supportive structure for the corners of the house to keep it um, keep it going whoops there we go <clears throat> keeps it uh, you know from falling apart and so having some supportive structure definitely is a plus so we're gonna go ahead and go around and just do that to the rest of the structure up here And there we go. That is what uh, we came up with and it sort of um, definitely gives you that feel that it is well um, supported now. So let's go ahead and start doing the roofs a little bit. Um, so what we need to do is grab a little bit of that jungle wood and we're just going to go ahead and place the jungle wood just like this right here. And we're going to go all the way along like that and all along like this. Now this is going to be sort of like a little storage room thing for our uh, people that live here because um, no matter where you are you always need some storage space and so this little jut out place is sort of like the perfect kind of spot for a storage area for our uh, people. So let's just do that. Now also for like the little storage space like this needs a little um, bit of a support right there just like that and then that'll keep that up and I think uh, we'll do this instead here just to sort of add in some variation so now what we need to do is add in block variation so right now it's all flat sandstone um, but before we do that actually we're gonna do the windows but um, let's just go ahead and do that really quick I'll be right back all right, so let's add in some windows. So it's kind of just randomly placed them wherever they would look good, but for right now, we're just gonna add them just wherever um, it works out. So like there would be good, a couple of those places. Um, I would like to have a window here, but this one's going to be sort of a bigger window. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then we're gonna go ahead and place up two cobble walls right there. So sort of like a bigger, um, fancier window right there. Now a lot of this up here is open space, but still we can still use windows up here. Uh, reason being is we can have sort of like a loft maybe. And uh, I think that this would actually be really cool is having windows say up here. And it would be a uh, really cool loft area, I think. So we'll go ahead and do that I, like right like this. And we'll do it every other space just like that. And we'll do one there as well. Um, that just adds in a nice little, um, you know, bit of texture on that side. Now, obviously, we should have a window there. Actually, not there. Window should be here instead. So, looking down on the stairway uh, as people are walking up, and then we can have a window here. Um, so that would be cool. And then a window here would be cool. Actually, we're going to do it right there instead, so we maintain that sort of. Um, you know, look that we're going for. Yeah. How about we go ahead and move that over here? There we go. So then that way it's a little more uh, uniform per se. But as you can see, the windows really aren't too spectacular. Um, but for each window, we can just go ahead and do this. They're really kind of simple. Uh, you just kind of add the depth in and you make it look pretty good as you can. Um, it's not mandatory to do anything specific. There's really nothing specific, should I say. It's just <clears throat> adding in the windows. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward from that. So let's just put one right here, and then we're going to go ahead and move on. Like that. No, it's too weird looking, so we're gonna put one over here. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a loft <clears throat> all the way around the uh, top bit here. And I think that would look really good for at least the inside. Um, 
would have a really cool sort of feel to it. But yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this and then uh, we can go ahead and get started on the next stage. Thank you.